one. Hello and welcome to the uh, tenth episode of Let's Play MLB 14, the show here on the Dietrich Gamecast. I'm Jeremy Matthews, manager of the New York Mets, who are 33 and 20, top of the NL East. Uh, I'm going to be playing against Jesse Simmons, as always, the manager of the Philadelphia Phillies, with a 500 record. Congratulations, Jesse. Everyone on my team is dead. Uh, you have a slight DL that ha situation. It happened when you guys off screen. It happened off screen between the last two episodes. Everyone on my team died of injury. Yeah, uh, last episode you had a couple injury problems. So did I. I lost AJ Pierzynski and uh, PJ Walters. You suck so much. Uh, yeah, PJ Walters. You lost Chasin, Pierre, Marte. Can we just get me Pacheco losing this game over with. I think you could win. I'm not going to win. If you were I, better, burn. either. Boom. This is not an insult if I agree with Detonate. you. Detonate. Uh, neither of us are playing. All right, Giovanni. So, Johan Satan on a bit of a cold streak. Are you worried about that at all? Do I look like I'm worried about that? Yes. Okay, Jeter's tired. So, I'm going to put in... Oh, Lombardo here Uzi. we go, Jeremy. Chris Co Coughlin, lead off. Nice. I'm not going to hit Lombardozzi second. I'm going to move Chu up. Sure. It's not even like, oh, I gotta get this player in. You're good with your lineup? I guarantee you they're like, Juan Uribe sucks. You got Juan Uribe, he's tired. <sighs> and uh, I'm gonna play Daryl Will. No, I don't want to play Daryl Will. You know what that means, though, Jeremy. If I take out my third baseman, who else is going in? Bedman. Willie Bloom. Uh, Bloom was also tired. Please play Bedman. Bedman has 22 speed. <laughs> Why do you need speed? You never steal. Okay, I'm yeah, because my team is so garbage that they'd get caught. I'm glad I ended on Lance Nix I'm, as well. I'm going to play the rookie, Daryl Williams, even though he is a bit lackluster defense at 16. That's oh, it gone down. Draw, it dropped from 20. Um, it's all that time as the DH in the National League. It'll, it'll get you. He's going to hit cleanup. The hitting coach is concerned about Wilson Bedevin. Shh, come on, man. Oh. Freaking hidden coach. All right, this is going to be a good game. I've got a rookie hitting cleanup. You have oh, Willie Blinquist again. so bad. Look, I'm great at hitting home runs. Yeah, but we found out that the game actually ranks your team better than mine. Yes, I'm so, a 20 uh, you have a, You have the advantage over me in this game. Well, not with the team I have. No, that adjusts. It does? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Then your team sucks. Uh, yeah, it's probably your stupid bullpen. But look at my record. It's probably your stupid bullpen. What's wrong with my bullpen? Oh, Heath, but Darren Oliver and Oliver <laughs> Perez are my setup people. I don't think I'm going to bring Oliver... back Kyle Fawn Farnsworth <laughs> to close. No, Randy Choate's one of my setup guys. Darren Oliver is not a setup guy. Uh, look after. Maybe Oliver Perez isn't. I'm... We'll look when we get to the bullpen. I don't want to look at your awful bullpen. Unless it's a complete game shut out by Yoveni Gallardo. Which, In which case, we will not look. Isn't out of the question, because Chris Coughlin's leading off for my team. That's a good point. So. Gotta limit his at-bats. By pitching. I also think it's funny how I'm saying Coughlin's leading off for my team. He did that for the Marlins, like, not but a year ago. Yeah, when they were not very good. Yeah. Hey, Juan Pierre also did. Lead off? Oh, yeah. yeah. For that Marlins team. Yeah, a long time ago. No, last year. Also a long time ago. <laughs> oh, beautiful Citizens Bank Park. Jesse, how does it feel to be back at home? The same as being on the road. Not being a player on this team doesn't affect it at all. That's no fun. Oh, you're doing the chicken dance. Wow, the chicken dance is pretty easy. I should do it more. You can't dance. Is that my ball boy? Oh, he's gone now. Right behind the side. No, that's Coco Crisp. No, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's him. Sweet. Oh. Four and four, that's not bad. 500. I'm skipping this. Good. Who's up? 
Who is a bat? It's Coco. Who is that behind the plate? Oh, it's Miguel Weevil. <laughs> yeah. I forgot. I thought I saw the letter D. I should have worn the helmet, the helmet with the uh, two ear flaps. Protect myself. Coco with a single. Let's party. Oh, I actually thought you were going to two there. <laughs> I was like, oh. Thanks for the free shoe. Fourth in the National League in hitting. Whoa. Sweet swing, dude. Swinging outside the zone. Oh, you picked it up. Bad call. I swear, Josh Fegley would have put that into the left center gap. Yeah, or Bean Santana. Santana's out for one to two months. Yeah. Would you like to replace him? Junior With Alfredo Latham. Figaro? Junior Latham comes back in two days. Also, I'm pretty sure I have other people on my... On my 40, man. We were discussing that last time because I yeah. put Matt Tui Rosopo on my 40, man. We asked Sopo? Tui, I, I messed it up and thought I would just roll with the bit. Come on, Chu. You like that head first slide? No. It shows dedication. Remember that head first slide, Ale uh, Alexa, so Alexa? Alexa Ramirez. Ramirez? Also, Josh Hamilton. Where he missed the bag? Yeah, Josh Hamilton hurt himself for two months. That was a good one. Way to go, Joshy. No, I, bad inning, really. Who's Alexis Ramirez? Is that a person? There's Alexi Ramirez, the shortstop. That's who I thought, yeah, I just thought Alexis for some reason. Well, I broke up the no-hitter anyway. That's one thing I did in that inning. Johan's not getting another one. Not getting another what? No-hitter. I guess that was last year. Was that last year or was it 2012? Um, I think that was 2012. Time flies when you're eating buns. You've been eating buns that whole time? Oh, couldn't quite get there. Yeah, Chew. What now? What Chew? You talking like a pork me? bun or just like a like a dinner roll? Kaiser. Oh. Kaiser rolls. See, I'll, 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 My name's Trevor, and I like Kaiser rolls. I'll, I'll eat a dinner roll. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if your name is Trezor, Trevor. Or if you like Kaiser Rolls. Don't. No. If you like Kaiser Rolls, keep it to yourself. There's no way. Oh, look at that throw. That was atrocious. <laughs> it's because there's no Jeter. Are you starting Lombardozzi? Yep. I was too busy scowling at the poor state of my bench to notice any lineup changes. It's Lombo, man. Is that his nickname? I just made it up. So, yes, in a way. I don't like it. I don't really like it either. Oh, the 220s. Get off my plate. And I wait. That's what I said. Are you trying to hit me? Gotcha. Oh, right on the corner. Oh, you gotta be knocking futz with that one. Oh, it's Mark Ellis. Yeah, don't worry, you got this. Can I cheer you on? If I cheer you on, does it like sort of count as a victory for me? No. Oh, good. I was oh, worried. They might not turn. Oh, okay, good. Oh, I was worried for a second I might have a hit that was more than a single. Hey, we both got erased on the base paths. On the bed. Yeah. So no harm in that. Hanley's up to 227. Bite me. It looks like a good time to trade him. Oh, no, wait, I should wait till Miguel Oliva comes up to say bite me. Ooh, burn. See me take that one? Remember when Miguel Olivo led the Mariners in home runs? Yep, 2010. And 2012, no. Every single season. 2011. That wasn't this one. Until Kyle Seager showed up. Wow, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. Kyle Seager's good. No. He is. He's very good. He's not. Maybe should have swung at that. Oh, I definitely should have. That would have been, in hindsight, I'd probably be good. Darryl Williams Not even in hindsight, five, as the pitch was coming. Hitting 500. Let's see if he can keep that up. He's not. He's going to hit shoes. it. He's going to hit it right to my second baseman. Look at those shoes. Those are really nice shoes. Those are nice shoes. He's going to hit it right to my second baseman. And he's, my second baseman is going to bobble it. No. 
Please cover first. He's safe. I actually... <laughs> maybe if Jay Bruce didn't lackadaisically pick that up. Maybe if he didn't have Jay Bruce. It's probably not Jay Bruce. It's probably some stupid Lance Nix that for some reason the game was like, we should put Jay in line. Oh, nice. All right, Bryce, you got to get back in this. Hmm. Swing a pitch inside that breaks further inside. Close. I'm just going to foul those pitches off all day. Yep, that's, that's the Bryce Harper philosophy. If you can't get a hit, just swing. Also, rehab playing PlayStation. That's how he's rehabbing his thumb injury. That's a clown idea, bro. <laughs> Classic. Classic Bryce. Oos. Oh, I swear if that was a hit. If that was a hit, you would need to do something quite wrong. Yeah, welcome to the Philadelphia Phillies. There we go. Are you? Right through the gap. Just in case I was taking third with my catcher. With your 31 speed catcher? Oh, here's a rod. Crowd's getting all worked up. That's kind of cool. Hey, look, you're going to complete that by the time the series is over. Uh, yeah, the computer will probably complete it. Hopefully I do. Him close there at second. Now Maybe I can get 26 hits within this series. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> by the time this series is done, you'll have 26 hits with a rod. Oh, that was a big circle. But you hit it anyway, please. Nope. Pulled off the bag. That's tough. Yeah, this is right back and now it's one out, and I got a guy in third. That's tough. There, just a little bit, waiting for his man to cover second base. And that little hitch was all Jesse, I can't play this anymore. Jesse, I can't be. I can't be tough breaks. Be this team. Oh, come on! You just take it. You're about to get a run anyway. Oh no, it's Lombardozzi. He's very precise in that spot. There we go. Now his slider hit pretty well, but he might have got under it just Whoa. a bit as this is out toward deep center. Almost lost it. I'm Chris Coughlin. I don't know how through that to score. You're the one who brought him up to the major leagues. Yeah, because my uh, I had no other outfielders. Jerkson's on a bit of a cold streak. And we had to go to PlayStation 4. Look at, look at how good this looks. Yeah. Oh and I'm not playing oh. this stupid Mark Ellis now. Oh, wow, there's some really slow running going on. Yeah, who's on first? Um, A-Rod. No. Gallardo's hitting 240. Oh. I wonder if this ball is going to go between second and first base. <laughs> there seems to be a gap there. You know you can switch your defensive uh, orientation, right? Yeah. yeah. For Gallardo, put the shift on. Down Look at that power. Right and back out of play. You popped it up. <laughs> I mean, for a pitcher. Look at that power. He's a re regular Julius Jassin. Thank you. <laughs> that was close. I would have just got up and left. Oh, uh, I think you're about to get up and leave then. Nope. Oh. I was going to make a joke about the get up noise and everything. Jay Bruce. <laughs> Jay Bruce hitting righties very well. Too bad I can't hit with Jay Bruce to save my life. It's the same problem I have with Ichiro. Just can't hit him. It has him. Like him? Can't hit him. Still pick him anyway. Because they got the same sort of batting stance. It's hard to hit with those batting stances in these games. Oh, good, but I get this batting stance with stupid Eric Hosmer. Eric Hosmer's good. Come on. He's probably the best player on your team. I'm just... Just go on, Jonathan Sanchez is 0-6, if you were concerned. 
I was actually pretty concerned. Lance Nix hitting 436 in his last 10 games. Also sixth. Also, most of those were in the minor leagues. First pitch coming. I don't take first pitches. Oh, beauty, right down the middle. That's why I didn't have the remote in my hand. Eric Young Jr.'s third in triples. Wait, fell it off. Watch, now I'm going to watch this pitch like an idiot. It's going to be an exact replica of last inning. Oh, you guessed the pitch. Very nice. Very economical to start out there. Got through that first inning on just nine pitches. He's got a chance to keep it in single. Yo, these outside <laughs> fastballs are totally getting in my head. My favorite part is when pitches go to the like. It confuses me so much when pitches go to the outside and then just stay in the outside. Got him. Look at that curveball. My name's Lance Nick. Look at that curveball. Though. I'm on a hot streak. Out of the zone, into the zone. Yeah, I watched it go. That's why I swung at it. Door drops out. Oh, good. Coco Crisp is back up. I hope that gap between second and first doesn't get completely destroyed this time. Like, you know, they're kind of standing in. No, they're not. And oh, oh if that had been a power swing, that would have been out. A big contact swing. One of my should-be-in-double-A outfielders made the catch with that one. Here's SSC. Oh, same place. That was a power swing. Though. So Pierre had the... And the bigger fly. Pierre? Or whatever. <laughs> Toco Crisp. Oh, someone thinks they have my team. He's the Pierre of my team. How? Hits leadoff. Is he out for seven years? Not yet, but I wouldn't be surprised. There's a souvenir. What are you, Matt Veskirgen and Joe Buck and Vin Scully and every announcer ever? Dave Sims. Now a swing and a oh, a lot of flyouts. Don't worry, Chris Coughlin can't one, catch. Two, and he will make the catch just shy of the Those are some good seats, I guess. They're getting a lot of action. Will Who is field. this? We'll stand in for the first time now. Boom, boom. Bloom, bloom quiz. <laughs> bloom, bloom sounds way stupider than boom, boom. Yeah, I don't know why he said it. Down the line. Oh, Bloomquist didn't get a hit. What a shock. Yo, I'm going to crank this one. Three, two, one. Kick it! Oh, no. I tried. I thought maybe if I wrapped. Big no, Big no, no, that doesn't work. No, don't. Big Willie BB. Yo, my name is Willie Bloomquist. I insist that I'm going to like the outside ball. basketball? Dude, they get me every time. I keep telling you. You think I'm kidding. Every time you throw an outside fastball, I'm like... Oh. How about the outside slider? Dude, sliders that go farther away. <laughs> that was like that one circle change I threw. Hey! Fly out to left. Hey, look, I put the ball in the outfield. <laughs> what an accomplishment. My team should be playing T-ball. <laughs> I wish there was a T-ball game. Dude, t Olivo's hitting 173 on the road. Can I point out that a T-ball game would take away, like, 95% of the difficulty in this game? <laughs> like, what would be the... Like, at least do five pitch if you're gonna do yeah, that. Yeah, it would be really funny. But also, five pitch wouldn't work, because then people could just wait until they get the T-ball. Anyway, Olivo is, uh, hitting much better on the road. Speaking of T-ball... He's hitting 173 on the road. 119 at home. Now the 1-0 Wow, I thought you had made a mistake when you first said 173 and then realized how absolute garbage Miguel Olivo was. My team is a shambles. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, I don't usually, I usually say in shambles, but I'm bringing out, like, a shambles. Here's Johan, though. Great. He's my... hitting better than Olivo. Uh, he's hitting better. What's his average? 176. You should have hit him over. You should have hit him eight. Oh, he was so close to having my first hit. Not really. <laughs> also, I already have a you hit. already have a hit. Oh, that one sweet Lombardozzi yeah. throw. Daryl Williams with a single on a run. Great rookie performance. Ooh, nice catch. 
He's pretty slow. Yeah, I can tell. Because I started sprinting, I'm like, wait. He's not even on screen. <laughs> Here's Bryce, who took eight pitches last at that. By took, I mean swung at every one. <laughs> took, I mean clearly did not take. Ooh. I swear, Miguel. <laughs> The second there, I thought he was just gonna like jog it out, just be like, "All right, good work, good work, everyone." Miggy, come on. I like how Iraq gets booed every time. It's just in the game. Yep. It's not even just like because you're a rival. It's it, everywhere you go. The Mets could go to Cleveland, and they really could go to Cleveland. Yeah, that's a, uh, yeah. Yes. I wonder when you every do. three years or so. So, that happens. Wait, don't they play every team in the other league now? No. Really? No, they do not. There's just an interleague game happening every day. Oh, but they don't play every single team in the interleague? No. Another flyout, man. Santana's really getting the flyouts. I'm really enjoying all the work my Chris Coughlin and Lance Nix duo are getting. It's a good thing we didn't do NL West. If this was in Coors Field, it would be like 10 to 8. It'd be 10 to 0. My team can't get it into the outfield. You got one, Bloomquist. Barely. Oh, look at that. Chris Coughlin is officially my favorite player in the world now. <laughs> Sweet throw to two. Yep. In case I tried to take second on your watch. Something I would do. Mark Ellis will stand in now. He'll likely have a look down to third to see if anything's up here with nobody out. Ooh, and that was pretty sweet. Here, but he can't connect one strike. And they did have the bun on right there. So it, it pulls in the third baseman, though. I see why you did it. Yeah, that was intentional and not me actually trying to bunt. Yo, you should go to first. I'm going to go to second, actually. Oh, crap. Now I'm going to out. Yes. I can always count on this game. cover the bag? I can always count on this game to never let first baseman cover the bag when you want them to. Oh, here's Hanley. You can also count on this game to make my best player hit 190. He's hitting 227 now. Well, not anymore. Oh. Yeah. I'm going on Good that. Good play, Daryl. <laughs> you know, he has, isn't he has 16 your fielding. In AL games, yeah. Oh. No Tony Cruz today? No, he got the day off. Tired. Same with oh, Jeter. Tony Cruz needs those hard work days off. Yeah. Also, normally I, I would choose hitting over fielding, given an equal equal opportunity. So all those factors came into play. They did. I noticed when you played someone who had 20 fielding. 16. Oh, way to go, Hanley. Hanley's on point. Hanley's on point. 16. Don't go to first. <laughs> I went to second. That was like the, like the most power I've seen someone yeah, put into good. a throw. Like he's like, he's like throwing his hand up into space and like a beam of light is coming down. Chris, you will not get to second. That's my Shinsu Chu impression. <laughs> oh, I can't even laugh at it. <laughs> Sweet pitch out on Chris Coughlin with two outs. With my 16 fielding pit catcher. Why am I not stealing on you? Yeah, I've actually been wondering. Because you're going to throw me. Yes. No. No shot to get Coughlin. <laughs> no shot whatsoever on the wimpiest throw I've Still ever seen. Still don't know how to say his name. Who? Coughlin? Coughlin. Matt Vaskirjan just said Coughlin. Oh, I don't think that that's right. And we've had our histories with how Matt Vaskirjan pronounces things and how they're actually pronounced. Will Middleton? Yeah, that's classic. Wow, four straight. Collapse from Giovanni? No, I, that was pretty much intentional. There, that recommendation actually makes sense. Because I was pitching around you. Oh, I should have. I knew that would happen. Stupidly cranked that. <laughs> well, I can't get runs. I have one run. Did you like my really weird, like, Muppet character? Lumberdose, he's going to bunt. He's going to bunt. 
No, I'm serious. He's gonna bunt. That's fine. You're not gonna get on base. You're Steve. Oh. My my 55 speed will surely allow me to bunt correctly. Okay, here's profile. Jurickson Profar will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. And now the second Another one in left. In What's happening? I'm just like not going to let my players get through. Dude, you're either popping it up to my left fielder or putting it directly through the... the that was a fly out. One, two, on. yeah. Is, is, is this Giovanni? Yep. There we go. There's the base hit. And, the <sighs> and he got to first. Throws. <laughs> I don't just throw the ball. I hurl it towards people. I'm Chris Coughlin. So it's back to the top of the he has got the jacket. And set to stand in the center fielder Coco Crisp. And this is pulled hard but foul. Hope they brought their he does. For that one You're correct. There. Yeah, it's pretty wicked. And so's the steal. You oh my god, <laughs> you're, I thought you were safe for a second. It was worth a go. I was trying to do the hit and run, but he didn't connect. I'm so glad I'm playing Lance Nix. No, that's that not been, right. That would have been, really, been a really good hit and run. That would have. That would have worked really well. It was a really bad steal. Steal attempt from Giovanni <laughs> Gallardo. He has cut right through this lineup. Not difficult. <laughs> yeah, when Lance Nix is hitting six, and then immediately after is Willie Bloomquist, and then Juan Uribe. Yes, no argument. It's a real who's who of and why then, the hell are you playing him? <laughs> and then Johan. Oh, I should probably start pinch hitting. I don't know. Johan's been doing pretty well. Oh, all my hits I did are have just to, a little too hard. I did have to take multiple steps there. You are a mean person. Oh good, my bullpen is... It's all warmed up except for Matt Bellisle. And he's the only one I want to play. You... Are you seriously going now? Johan's doing pretty well. I'm just going to have him ready and waiting. In case Johan collapses, which I know he can. He is on a cold streak. Walk City. Walk, walk City. You should collide. Oh, who's going who's gonna to get it? Yeah. Should have probably given it to the center. That's how that's supposed to work, but whatever. It's Bryce really? Harper. Yeah. So it's just, it's the center fielder calls it. It's his. The center fielder call that? Uh, I'm going to say yes. He was Coco for it. Was that a cuckoo for Coco Puffs joke? Yeah. That didn't, like, sort of work? It's Coco for Coco Puffs. It's hard to come in here and pitch like this, but he's done a heck of a job. It's a really bad idea to make a mascot that you consider insane that likes your product. Whatever. He was great. Golden era of cereal mascots right there. Or like Frankenberry? Yeah, exactly. Blueberry. A lot of berries. But Berry yet, White, no berries. Berry Manilow. No actual berries in the cereal. Just really weird fruit pebbles. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have swung at that. I swung at it regardless. I'm talking about Frankenberry here. This can wait. I'm going to crank this one anyway. Backwards. Soldier Boy A no. Why do you keep making Soldier Boy references on these videos? Because you keep saying crank that, and no one says that ever. Yeah, we've been talking about it. A baseball. No. Dude, I'm like the Bryce Harper of my Philadelphia Phillies team. So I just foul off eight pitches. It's not going to get to Miguel eight. Miguel Olivo is the Bryce Harper of the Philadelphia Phillies. Is that what you're saying? Oh, you suck. Oh, come on. Daryl. <laughs> he pulled a Fegley. That's that 16 field. <laughs> he pulled a Fegley. Now, pulling a Fegley is hitting the pitcher on a, on a throw to second. Oh. I, like, watched that happen, and I was like, oh, routine. It was going to happen. And then I was like, wait. <laughs> he is Williams behind the plate. Oh, hustle like you've never hustled before, Miguel Olivo. Doesn't really matter. Because Johan just popped out. That was pretty good hit by Johan, though. Impressive. It was better than Olivo's. Olivo didn't have a hit. <laughs> Don't patronize me. That's a uh, fly out to left. What they call that? A lot of them today. Yep. Lance Nix getting his Lance Nix. <laughs> field in practice his, in. Through his paces. You know, testing Lance Nix, not a bad idea. 
Ooh, what a sad looking ugly, swing. Ugly. That didn't even look like he like he was wanted that ball. No, he didn't. How discouraging is that when you're pitching your heart out and you're just not getting the support. Quiet Vasco Janet. Almost beat that out. You were sort of close. Oh, here's Paul Goldschmidt. Gold glove nominee. Look at that power. <laughs> Whoa! That one almost made it to third baseman. That was a sentence that made sense. Yeah, yeah, I'll get, yeah, sure. That one almost made it to third baseman. That's the title track off my new rap record. Oh, I thought, crank I, thought, that. I thought that was going to be in the, in the, uh, in the dirt. El Derte? Joe yep. Derte? No. Pretty disappointed by my team. You're disappointed by your team. Yes, I am. I have won two hits, maybe, and one of them is Chris Coughlin. <laughs> two of them are. Also, Chris Coughlin's hitting 600. Yes. <laughs> Let's do something about that. Yeah. One way or another. I'm going See? Actually, that would have kept you hitting 600. <laughs> the opposite of what I want to do. <laughs> the one thing you can do that would not... Yeah. That would keep me. Whatever, I'll just swing at those. That's ball three. Watch this. Are you ready? You won't believe your thighs. No, 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 no response to that, whatever that was. <laughs> I'm just going to say that I'm glad I got the O. You're not going to respond to you won't believe no, your thighs? I'm not responding to that. <laughs> Yo, Mark Ellis. How do you like, uh, do you like curveballs? Dude, I like curveballs almost as much as I like sliders that go farther away from the plate than I am. Oh, your second baseman, a first baseman hole is fine. because I got a young second baseman. Mark Ellis is good range. Mark Ellis's only redeeming quality is his fielding. Oh, let's see, he has no redeeming qualities. That's where you're wrong. Willie Bloomquist just won the starting job. While he's on your team, I mean, he's a decent player, actually. That was in the zone. Hey, I'm so good at hitting curveballs. They should call me curveball. So you're really good at hitting yourself. Oh, that got depressing really fast. I don't really understand the nickname. They should call me Sonny Bono. Um, I don't know. Who's someone that's good at hitting curveballs? They should call me Ichiro Suzuki. No, they shouldn't. Ichiro's a legend. Yeah. You are not. Comment if I'm a legend. No. Tell me I'm a legend. Tell me, Ichiro, Ichiro, tell me I'm a legend. Ichiro just passed uh, King Griffey Jr. on the hit list. Fun fact. Who? I don't have a joke. I was gonna say lay on the profession now. It's not a joke. That's a that's a big deal on Mariner fan. On the like the Mariner's hit list or all time? No, all time. Does that mean he leads the Mariners all time? Former Mariners? Um, I would say probably yes. I don't know who would be ahead. Anyway, tell me I'm a legend. Uh, no. Also, I flew out. With Daryl Williams. I've never heard fly out in past tense before. It sounds weird. Sir. Sorry, would you like me to say I fly outed? I don't know why I told you what pitch I was throwing at. <laughs> I, threw it. I, I, I hit it and I was like, yeah, here I we go. I swung anyway, so who cares? You almost had it. No, no, I'm in the palm of your hand, Santana's hand. Terrible. No. I don't know why I hit jump. Oh, Lance Nick sucks. I swear, if you, I hit second before. Also, good move. I would have taken second. I blew the one chance I had at a decent fielding play. Yep. Who's your shortstop? Hanley. Ah, I see. He'll just pull a Kershaw and not turn anything. Wouldn't he be pulling a Hanley? Oh, beats it out, A-Rod, with that speed. <laughs> All I can do in this game is double plays, and now I can't turn double plays. Was that A-Rod? Was that A-Rod yep. speed? <laughs> yep. I hate you so much. I love my team. I just, like, zoned out for that I really pitch. wish I didn't have Lombardozzi. Well, too bad. 
You snooze, you draft Steve Lombardozzi. I'm not sure. Oh, I know. I think he did draft him. You did. Putting in a good at bat, though. How Except good taking is pitches. it? Actually, no. You've thrown it in the zone every time. No way. <laughs> nice jump. Miguel's going at it. I'm calling Miguel Oivo Dracula from now on. Uh, why? Because he only comes out at night. Doesn't like I don't play him in day games. No, I play him in day games because then I'd have to play Josh Fagley. Yeah, Josh Fagley's pretty good. And I do not ever in my entire life ever want to play oh, Josh Fagley again after he hit Matt Thornton in the head. Go look that one up if you haven't watched it yet. It's a silly moment. Catch your nose right now, Jeremy. Please also, don't touch my nose. Carlos Martinez. Is this Lance Nix yet? Oh, I have such, no, a such a long way to go. <laughs> don't worry, I'll have a great inning. Oh, better not have injured him. Better have injured him. Better not have injured him. Who is it? What do you mean? Who is it? Who's your pitcher? Oh, Giovanni. Yeah. Okay, he's fine. I forgot who it was. I'm going to warm some up in the bullpen after this pitch. Smart. Just so you know. Oh, now we get to look at your stupid... Oh, your bullpen is... My bullpen's great. See, Perry has Why do you have two left-handed setup men? Because that's how I roll. You I get you having decent pitchers. you got to put out the best pitchers you have. Though Bell and Perez are the same level. Five of my seven bullpen pitchers are all over 37 years old. Because <laughs> that's all that's left because I don't care about the bullpen. Only draft the for stupid youth. That's a lie. You pick Randy Choden every game we ever do. That's true because you can't hit against Oh, you got to be kidding me, Hosmer. <laughs> what a catch by Williams. Oh, don't even try it. I tried it. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good tag. You might have had it if that was a worse tag. Well, you never want to fault a guy for Who's this? Lance. Ah, I see. Lance. Lance and Nix. Crank that soldier boy on me. You didn't crank that. I tried. I attempted to. The crank attempt was there. Okay, uh, we need to stop saying crank here, unless we start power. referencing the Jason Statham series where he is dying constantly. <laughs> what a kooky concept for a series. It's pretty good, eh? Oh, also, get off my plate. Like no. He has to, like, how? <laughs> I can't even. I meant to throw that in at you. Oh, and say, please get off don't my plate catch again. this. You've got to be... <laughs> Look at that range. That's the SSC guarantee. My team is just, like, just atrocious. Hmm. This is my seventh ball of the game. Let's see what's up with the bullpen. You just were in this. Hmm. I'm going to sit him down. You're going to sit? He fell down? What's up with my batting order? I see that. All right, who cares? Is this Profar? Yep. He's batting sixth. Do you have an inning and one more player? I don't think he's batting first. sixth. I think he's batting eighth. It's not. It's not rocket science. Yeah, he's batting eighth. It's not rocket science. You were on this screen, and then you're like, "Where do <laughs> I see it?" And then quit. Uh, there's a batting order screen at some point. If you don't need that when you have the screen in front of you. Okay, sorry. Gee. I'm angry at how many stupid injuries my team has. I'm not sure he's throwing a bad slider tonight. I'm not sure he's throwing a bad slider tonight either. You want to know my secret? What's up? I have not moved the ball, like aiming wise. Oh, that's pretty. That's a pretty good sign. You got him out. All right, I'm gonna pinch it. Oh, who could I get? Please bring in Travis Hafner so I can win this game. Any team that has Travis Hafner at bat loses. Your wish is my command. Oh my lord. Look at that stance. He's ready. It's a power explosion. I don't know which stance I hate more, his or stupid it. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that was the hardest swing I've ever seen. That was like that Marlon Bird swing where he broke the bat. Also, Santana's going to pitch deeper than... Uh, yeah. 
Well, Santana's having a good game. Not as good as Gary. No! Hafner. What an awful <laughs> Hafner at bat. Like, I feel like that's Travis It's been Hafner. pretty awful every time I bring him in. Should have brought in with him. Tony yeah, Cruz. Did you make Travis Hafner pitch to me? No. <laughs> yes. No, you can it's win. a one-run game. There'll be a blowout where we can do that if we really need to. <laughs> oh! That's interesting. It's the Harlem Globetrotters of the outfield. All right, Heath Bell. I don't like being called that. <laughs> and let's get Joe Nathan ready. Does that mean that you're the Washington Generals? Because I'll take that. No, I want to be the Supersonics. It's the Globetrotters didn't play the Supersonics. Well, they're playing them now. Also, why would you want to be the Supersonics? <laughs> you're like, I like being teams that are defined. Oh, no. It wasn't bad. that big of a deal. Yeah, that was, like, the least important thing I've ever seen. But Heath Bell gave up a hit. Oh, it's Olivo. Oh, is it Josh Fegley time? Is Olivo's it Josh better. Time? I know, but you could bring in a better hitter and then do a defensive switch. No, I'm just going to leave Olivo in. I thought I accidentally hit a one <laughs> for a second there, and I was like, oh, great. More base running errors. Yes. Advance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Clearly, you meant to do that. Advance. Add. Add Lance. All right. Who's your pinch hitter? Bediment. 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 Lame. He's hitting 83. Or he was last time we checked. I might just pinch it for him again. 179. No, he's fine. He's fine. No, you're thinking of everyone else on my bench that's no, hitting... No, he was hitting 83. Last episode. Ooh, Yo, more pitches on the outside that don't go on to the inside. Hi, Randy. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Are, are you already taking out Heath Bell? Mmm... Yes. <laughs> he pitched in two <laughs> batters. See, you, Heath, he got one of them out. Hey. Heath Bell, we are gathered here today your to next, sell. Your next two batters are batting as lefties. That makes sense. Oh, you suck, sir. You <laughs> suck as Randy Choate, sir. <sighs> Garbage dump. Also, you're bad against this lefty. Ugh, jumped the gun a little bit. <laughs> we, are here to we are here today celebrate the death of Heath Bell's career. Was it today that Heath Bell got let go? As of no, no, it was a bit ago. Uh, as of recording, Heath Bell no longer a New York Yankee. How the mighty have fallen. But in this video game, he lives on. Yes. As a very good relief pitcher. It was a very decent relief pitcher that you took out after one at bat because you hated him so much. No, it's it's handedness. Also, yes. Look at that fastball. Oh my god. Exceptionally tough on lefties. That's Randy That's what I have to say to your stupid pitcher, Randy. Stupid show. Are you even warming up your closer? Yeah. And if I don't get this guy out, I'm bringing him in. Is that so? Yeah. Well, you're going to get Chris Coughlin out, so I wouldn't be. No, get up, get up. No. <laughs> uh, he probably would have chucked it in the stands, so it's all right. Darrell Williams. I wonder who Darrell Williams actually plays for. Should look it up. You should. You can comment and tell us. Or we can look it up. Yeah, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Randy Choate is a god among pitchers. I no longer care. <laughs> Dust Cloud. <laughs> he has risen from the ashes. SSC. Sweet, like, bunt hit. You almost threw that over his head. 
Dude, because it's because it's Mark Stupid Ellis. I thought he was really good. I thought his defense was his main selling point. It is. That's the sad part, and I can't trade anywhere. Can you just turn force trades off? I don't think so. Well, we should look. See, we had to we had to do it because I had to remake the uh, rosters when we switched consoles. Yep. Besides, who needs trades? We didn't trade last year. Yes, we did. And we didn't trade that much. Oh, we traded quick. We didn't trade in the roster videos. Because that's stupid. <laughs> I'm just saying there's precedent. Didn't trade in the NHL videos. Alright, Williams. It's your last chance to shine. Last chance. Oh, I thought that, I thought that was Romance. Almost wow, again, he threw back. it over his head. Uh -huh. Okay, please stop with the, with the scene. No. Hey, it's Mark Ellis. <laughs> this is not uh Oh, better switch pitchers. Oh, my. You may have just made a tactical error. Um, Why can't I put in Brandon Workman for you? Oh, no, you didn't. Uribe also better against lefties. I don't care. All right, Joe. Is on now to try to close things down Let's here get going. Let's get gone. Yeah. Let's get go, 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 go. Joe Nathan has places to be. He has a dinner reservation. Get some cheese steaks. I took more pitches than Travis Abner. <laughs> Congratulations on your Which is one more. <laughs> We're really good with pinch hitters. Also great. That was a oh yeah, that was a pinch hitter. That's depressing. So was yours. Mine me oh, I was pinch hitting for the pitcher, so at least it was reasonable. Hey, you're staring a hat trick in the face. Yeah, through strikeouts. Sounds good. The sombrero. Great, that's what I like to hear, is half of my team wearing a... Hey, you avoided it. Oh, I thought I cranked that so hard. Oh, the way that contact felt in my hands. I legitimately thought that was gone. I was like, wow. Well, I got shut out. Uh, okay, Jay Bruce. You can tie the game right now. This has been a really close game. This is like our best pitching game ever. First pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. The victory would go to Giovanni Gallardo should the lead hold up here. Yeah, Giovanni with the big win. Like the slider and it's two and oh. Hopefully. Knock on wood. <laughs> See, you knocked on wood and I wanted to swing and hit that just so it could be like, knock and no work. And then I am now going to strike out. And here's oh. Swing. We're almost there. Just throw a curveball to end it. End my misery. No. I threw a slider. Oh, now it's three and two, and I'm going to look like a fool <laughs> swinging at this pitch. Oh, no, I wanted to guess curveball. Oh, you do look like a fool swinging at the pitch. Good game, Jesse. The Mets continue well, as their soon dominance as, of the NL East. As soon as I turn, like, I'm able to pitch, I no longer can hit. That's how it goes in baseball sometimes with bad teams. You're under 500, I'm sorry. I don't care. Oh, but. I want my players back. In episode 11 next time, you'll get a chance to get back on 500. That's exciting. Right, Jesse? No. People will be able to check that out on dgamecast.com. Every one of my team is dead. dgamecast.com. Yeah, dgamecast.com. We'll be the place to check out Jesse's uh, amazing comeback. It's not a comeback. Oh, well, you're down 4-2 in, in our rivalry. In no, I'm not going to rap. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, wow. I've been here for years. Hey, it's Giovanni. Why does this game... Why is this just like, Oh, player of the game is the pitcher every time. Is it because we're so awful at hitting? <laughs> like, I don't think I've played a game of MLB 14 yet where the player of the game hasn't been the starter for the winning team. Jerickson, one for three with a double. I, you can't blame them this time. I can. 
Right. You had a hit. You had a run. Chris Coughlin went two for three. Well, uh, yeah, but they're not going to pick someone from the losing team. Anyway, that's been Let's Play MLB 14, the show for this episode. Join us next time. We will be playing an amazing matchup. Just an amazing matchup, which I'm going to get up here in a second. Joe Nathan with his 11th save. Jesse, how do you feel? Everyone. Uh, I'm sad at me. Ah, I I'm, see. I'm sad at me. Well, next episode, we are going to see... This is a public shaming of me. Oh, Zach great. Wheeler versus oh. John Lackey. Oh, no. What's the, uh, what's the one after that? So be sure to tune in next time for that. I didn't see what it was. Fantastic. Okay. Great. Yeah. Adios.